It's just before 5 a.m. Good morning, I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Susan Kim. Appreciate your time with us this morning. We do begin with breaking news today. A Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputy has been shot multiple times, and the search for the shooter led to an emergency shelter in place alert that was sent to your phone, which probably woke a lot of you up in the middle of the night. Now let's get to our Elaine Rojas Castillo. She is live at about 64th and Adler this morning where this is all playing out. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Vince and Susan. That's right, we've been here for a little over an hour now. And as you can see behind me, the scene is incredibly active. So here's what we know so far. There was a traffic stop in this area near West Adler and South 68th Street. And while that was happening, the passenger of the car took off by foot. One of the officers followed him and during the foot chase near 64th and Adler, the deputy was shot multiple times. Now, luckily, as of right now, we do know that the deputy is conscious and breathing and receiving treatment. The sus the driver who was in the car was taken into custody, but officers are still looking for the shooter. Now, about 40 minutes ago, cell phones in the area got this alert for a shelter in place order for that passenger who is considered armed and dangerous. Police say that the suspect is described as a black male with a skinny build wearing a black t-shirt and no coat. Now, since we've been here, multiple en entrances to this area are completely blocked off by officers. When we pulled up, I saw officers with rifles standing at various points of the intersections, and I've seen police cars from multiple different units. We do know that West Allis and Milwaukee police are helping in the search for the suspect. But again, we do know that a Milwaukee County Sheriff's deputy was shot multiple times after a traffic stop in this area. We also know that since about 4.15 this morning, the medical examiner hasn't been called. We don't really know anything else about where the suspect is, but we do know that this entire area is blocked off and we'll be sure to keep reporting what we know as we get it and it becomes available. But for now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News.